Hey guys, Leilani Joy here with a special announcement. This week only, you have a chance to bid on my original one-of-a-kind painting, The Red Queen, here on eBay. I'm making room in my studio for some new art, and I'm hoping to find this special piece for rightful owner. You can easily find this auction through the shortcut I've created. Simply type in tiny.cc slash redqueenauction into your browser, and it'll take you directly there. Or you can just visit eBay and search for Leilani Joy Red Queen. The auction ends May 25th at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so don't miss your chance to grab this fabulous original at a discounted price. And in honor of the auction, I've decided to repost the original creation video of this piece with edited music so that everyone can finally view it. I know my original video was blocked on mobile devices and in many countries because that was back when I didn't understand about the copyrighted music and all that. So now some of you can see this video for the first time and the rest of you can enjoy a throwback video while I work on some new ones. Enjoy. All artwork created in this video is copyright Leilani Joy. Artwork may not be reproduced without the written consent of the artist. All rights reserved. Pick a card, any card. Which one do you want? This one? That one? All right, take a look at it. Don't let me see it. You keep that. Welcome to Art New Vogue with your host, Leilani Joy. This is my video art blog where I document my creative process and give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. So thank you for waiting so patiently for my newest vlog. I've been crazy busy with um, this two-day show I just finished up in Japantown in San Francisco called the J-Pop Summit Festival. It was a fantastic time, and I got a bunch of great uh, video footage and photos, so I will compile that into a little blog for you guys. Hello to everyone I met there, and it was so great to meet you. And if you bought something, thank you very much. And don't forget to use your special secret J-Pop coupon that you got. So before we get started on today's piece, why don't you take the card you selected, Slide it back into the deck like so. And let's see, let's see. Was this your card? I bet it was, because today we are going to be painting the Queen of Hearts. And I'm going to be continuing on my Wonderland theme here for my upcoming show, Let Them Play Croquet, that opens this Friday. Can't wait, so excited. And um, I want to make sure I have this piece done for the show. So... To get started, um, I'm going to gather up some imagery of the Queen of Hearts. Obviously, the Red Queen, the Queen of Hearts, has been interpreted in lots of different ways in movies, photography, uh, other art, and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to do a little research and um, pull together some of my favorite inspirations and start painting. So I hope you like how this painting comes out, and I hope you enjoy watching the process. And if you don't... Ah! Now, the most recognized depiction of the Queen of Hearts is probably from Disney's animated Alice in Wonderland. And um, I love this scene in particular when she finds that they've been painting her roses red and she goes on this furious tirade. And I really want to work this imagery of the dripping red paint into my interpretation of the Queen of Hearts because it's such a memorable scene and something that really kind of sticks with you about her character. Now another character that immediately jumped to mind when I started thinking about this piece was a character called Hexadecimal from a show called Reboot, which many of you are probably too young to even remember. But it was a great show, and this villain character was definitely inspired by the Red Queen sort of idea. And I really want to work a little bit of her into my interpretation as well. Sad. Intrigued. I've never been so in touch with my emotions. Here I have a few more inspiration images of the Red Queen. Um, there's a lot of beautiful interpretations of her and a lot of great reference for uh, my piece on this. And don't forget you can now follow my inspiration blog on Tumblr, leilanijoy.tumblr.com, where I post up all my inspiring images and other artists that I like and all kinds of other fun stuff. So be sure to follow me over there and we can trade inspirations. All right, with all these um, thoughts in my head, it's time to start painting the roses red.
an artist, sometimes this happens where you get into a painting and you're just really not liking it and it's really not working. I feel like the painting so far has lost the energy of my original drawing here, of my original sketch. And I'm not liking the colors and I'm not liking this new composition that I tried to do. So you know what, if you fall off that artist's horse, you just gotta get right back up there and I'm gonna try a different approach and I think I'll be a lot happier in the end. just want to make a few finishing touches and add a few extra details to my Red Queen before she makes her debut. But before she does that, I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I can't believe I have over a thousand subscribers already. It's amazing and it's so flattering and thank you so much. I almost have 900 fans on Facebook, so that means some of you subscribers aren't fans yet. So you better go do that because I've decided that once I hit 1,000 fans on Facebook, I'm gonna do something fun and special on the video blog for you guys, so you're gonna have to become a fan to find out what that is, and encourage your friends to become fans too, because we have so much fun here, and we make art and stuff. Yeah, okay, anyway, let's check out this final piece and see how it came out. The Red Queen by yours truly, Leilani Joy. And before I dash out of here, I just wanted to show you the girls are all ready and framed and ready to go to their debut showing. So, thought I'd show you guys how they look in their frames, the original pieces. Here's Alice, and you can see kind of the 3D teacup and this gorgeous vintage frame that just looks like it was made for her, don't you think? And her sister piece, of course, the Mad Hattress, also in a matching vintage frame here. Uh, you can see the 3D cup on her and uh, kind of get an idea of what she looks like there. And finally, last but not least, is my Red Queen, which is a very big piece and it's heavy. Ugh. There she is. You can see this cool vintage frame that I've been holding on to forever and I finally found the right piece for it. So there she is, a little sneak peek of the show for you guys. For those of you who can't make it out to uh, California to see the show, at least you kind of got a sneak peek of the original pieces there. Um, if you want to make an offer on these original pieces, I am happy to accept them. Just send them to my email at leilani at leilanijoy.com. Um, they won't be available till after the show closes on October 9th, so just to let you know. So that's it, and I will see you guys very soon.